All right, let's check it out. Uh, I was watching this before. I think this is super close. Some really good stuff that you have, you know, through everything like here. It's nice movement, so it doesn't feel stiff, but you still have proper contacts on back legs for stabilizing. Let's see here. This one's a bit tricky. Hold on. I think everything is really, really good. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Offset in the mouthpieces. That has a nice arc. Hey, Dad, I mean, this. That has changed. I would say the only thing that's still a bit harsh is the body. So I have no problem with these guys, you know, sh shooting over and then coming back quickly. It's like, you know, ta but body wise, this guy goes from here to here to here. And I like that it'll ease in there, but boom, then it comes right back. And this is as if, you know, either there's a wall or he gets pulled back or she hit, or like the legs are super strong, but you know, pointing this way. They're really absorbing the momentum going this way and it can just shoot it back. But looking at what guys are at least these guys plant in before he stops or for it to stops kind of on the same frame that's the thing i would change here just give this eases in like one more in and then one back and then a bit more back and then you can get into where you're now because the back is pretty even Ooh, see that that move shoots over hits that wall Right there, right? And then comes back pretty evenly. Like the spacing is pretty even. So you can steal some frames in here to add a bit more of a ease in and ease out back to then what you have. So there's a bit of a softer body transition just because this is always so much heavier than these guys, and you want to make sure that it doesn't look too light. It still has that sharp hit and coming back. And then let me see the body here. You same thing here. You can track his eyes. Just keep saying it's um, over there. Tracking screen left eye. And then it's up. So it has a little bit of an arc, but looking at it, you know, especially if it's in real time, it has that feeling of pow, like this versus bit more of a softer thing and you can towards the end like before it ends that position here it translates over you can start rotating the body where it goes from this to like this so it goes over and that's the orientation of the body right it's like this like this and then it starts to to shift over and then it starts to get up and then as it stops it shifts back to this position i'm not sure if that makes any sense so i'll say it again <laughs> It's in this rotation, right? You can see how the eyes are. And then starting around here-ish or whatever, you start rotating the body over this way. So that by the time it's here, those eyes are not like that, but they're more like this. And then it goes up. And then maybe a frame or two after this, you are around where you are now. Maybe a bit less, maybe a bit less. And then as you come down, you end up there. So there, there's a bit more than just translate over going up, but also rotationally it's staying put. So you have a bit of variation. So I don't know if my my hands can show this, but let's pretend my awesome uh, time cop DVD is the level. Like imagine this is this is the creature, and you got the eyes here. So right now it's doing for me this, and I'm looking at something where oh, it will be going this way. Right? So it goes over and starts to rotate and then goes over and down right wow. and starts to rotate over before it stops translating and translates up but with an arc like this not that like that over uh, and that not super swimmy i might have acted it out too strongly but something so that it doesn't um a stop so harshly and has a bit more complexity in its rotations
And speaking of rotation, same thing, you want to track that tip here. It goes up, 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 and then boom, goes back, bah, over one frame. So again, the spacing is, bah, goes straight back versus a little bit of a ease in, and then you can always come back faster. I don't know if my scribbles are not. I would just be very careful with anything that involves the one frame direction change on something that's that big. And I know in the grand scheme of things, you know, I don't know if that's a human foot and that's the leg and this is light, but in this world, I would watch out. One frame direction changes, I can almost see in the legs. And even here, same thing here. I like that you have a little rotation this way, like the point, you can track the tip. But there are a couple of things. A, you go from here to here to, ooh, it goes back, right? Bow. But then it also goes back in the same direction. So it feels a bit repetitive in CG. So you want to have, if you're initiating momentum up and at the end over this way, it has to be all fancy and change colors. It has to go at least like that. It's a little bit of momentum. It has to continue and now I can change the direction. Even if it's small, back to my brutal red, right? So even if you want to go back and end up here, you still have to kind of go over and then come back versus versus this. That's just too harsh. But you know, you can easily go over this way and it comes back this way. And as it comes down, uh, have a bit of a straightening on one of these guys or pushing here so that that initiates the move back that the body comes back this way and ends where it is here. Bam, that's all cool. Now let's watch out the body on this one. This one seems better. It's a little bit harsh. Look at this line here. Bam, right there. So on this guy, you want one more frame where it's rotated back a bit more. And then a little bit sounds a bit harsh but it's better because I mean it's not like I don't want to take the snappiness away and then the overlap on the on his on its arms helps but except this guy so oh, this is where the body stops so this continuing helps 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 all that helps this one especially because it's holding something that's even heavier it's gonna take more time for this pincher than this to come back so on this body stop this one would overshoot a bit more and then come back and, and be the slowest out of all of them and i think that's okay because you have ample time so this one would lay that this guy so this would stop maybe a few frames later this would stop and then one frame ease in and one frame ease out again that one seems see this one seems better let's see yeah, because you have big shooting up, but then you ease in, although you might argue that it's visually at the same height, so you could potentially go a bit higher, but then you softly come back and back up. So it has that bounce that softens the, the momentum stop. So that one I buy a lot more. So stuff like that, that idea in all the other big moves. And I think that should be it. I know that's gonna change, you know, some of the pincher stuff because I don't know, I'm not sure how what, how the body is raked and how it's gonna influence the legs, but I would say do that and then we can do one last pass on the legs if needed. So far the legs look pretty cool. So I would just do um, that body pass for sure because that's gonna change some little things here and there. All right, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.